This is an everyday claw machine. Wow. And these are genetically modified fish. And in this video, we're gonna build an insane claw machine fish tank. I'm even gonna surprise one of you at the end, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. Oh Last weekend, I went bowling with all my friends when I spotted an old claw machine. These are designed to be nearly impossible to win. In my frustration, I wanted revenge. If you know me, you know I'll never turn down a challenge. And if you don't know me, hi, I'm Jamie. And these are my wet pads. We have Lucy and her BFF Lemon, Harry the Turtle, and Beady-Eyed Ralph, just to name a few. Each week, we build something awesome for their underwater worlds. So how hard can this really be? So these machines are very complex and super heavy. They have a printed circuit board, a power supply, current detector. After a while, I lost track. This is going to be extremely challenging. And I have a challenge for you. Can you spot these arcade prizes hidden somewhere in this video? But I think I have a plan. Our claw machine will literally be a thousand times bigger than this. It's going to hold 75 gallons of water and be filled with super colorful, genetically modified fish. Did you know these fish are made in a lab and are illegal in Europe? Some people think these fish are injected with paint, but that's not true. The answer will surprise you. More on that later in this episode. But first, we need to find a life-size claw machine. These things can cost over $2,000. That's just way too expensive. Let's check Facebook Marketplace. Wow, there's some pretty weird stuff on here. But after some searching, I found a few. And while we wait for a response, let's turn this mini claw machine into a fish tank. It even comes with these tiny toys. I've never been any good at this. Wish me luck. I'm actually winning. This is super fun. Time to remove everything so we can waterproof our machine. Silicone is highly effective at keeping water out. It's used in bathrooms and inside most fish tanks, but it stinks. Our tiny tank wouldn't be complete without some sand, a few rocks, and plants. But this tank is too small for fish. Thankfully, I have these little robot fish. Let's throw them in and watch them battle. Okay, that's enough. Time for a timeout. While we were building, I received a message from Matt. He's accepted the offer. Now I gotta pick it up. I thought this was going to fit in my car, but there's just no way. We absolutely need this claw machine. Our only option is to pick up a last-minute U-Haul. This place looks like a U-Haul graveyard. After signing my life away, we got a truck and we're back on schedule. This is Matt. He's had this machine for over a decade. After giving me a demonstration on street fighting, we secured the goods and began loading the truck. Now that we actually have the claw machine, I have absolutely no idea how we're going to turn it into a fish tank. But we have an even bigger problem. This machine has been in storage for over a decade and frankly looks terrible. It's in need of a little makeover. Welcome to the Claw Machine Makeover Show, where we give claw machines a second chance at life. We're going to start with a light sanding before we paint it. Claw machines were invented in the 1800s and became hugely popular in the 1920s. They're addicting because the prizes are often expensive and you only have to pay 25 cents to play. What they don't tell you is that it's almost impossible to win. <laughs> Whoop, it's done. Ooh, except for this whole side I forgot. Now we're talking. Now for the moment of truth. No way, it's firing up. I even have the owner's keys so I can control who wins. Holy smokes, this machine has eaten over $60,000. But it's not a claw machine without some stuffed animals in it. We have just enough money for a few games. I won prize after prize after prize. This is amazing. It looks like a disco ball for stuffed animals. The fish have arrived early. I can't wait for you to see these. Scientists created these by inserting fluorescent genes from jellyfish into fish. They were made to help scientists check for pollutants in the water. If the fish glow, they knew the water was polluted. For comparison, these are the same fish without the glowing gene. How do we feel about these fish? It took me a whole day to get this lid off. This was really, really hard, but I won't bore you with the details. They obviously didn't want people reaching in and stealing all the prizes. Finally, we're inside. Let's add silicone to seal the walls and floor just like we did in the miniature build. Wait a minute. This door is gonna be almost impossible to waterproof. 
Over in the office, Adam is running some calculations. Unfortunately, the glass on the claw machine isn't gonna be thick enough to hold that much water. Did you see that giant aquarium in Berlin? It exploded. Water is really heavy and we just can't risk it. We need to find another way. I thought my acrylic shop could do it, but they're backlogged with orders. We're gonna have to build it ourselves and I'm a little nervous. This is the biggest tank I've built on my own. One small mistake and we ruined $500 worth of acrylic. Each piece needs to be meticulously lined up and glued at 90 degrees. While we wait for our tank to dry, I'm giving away another Wet Pets Aquarium kit. I'm even gonna throw in every single pack of our brand new fish food. You'll be the first in the world to have these. So make sure to subscribe and comment for your chance to win. I just got a special delivery. I've been eyeing this for months and finally gave in. I can't wait to turn these on and light this up like a real arcade machine. Time to get the tank in. Phew, it fits in here perfectly and it looks awesome. Wait till you see what I just found. There was $4.42 stuck inside the machine. This is awesome. And since our tank is going to weigh over 600 pounds, I'm going to install some two by fours just to be safe. Now there's only one more thing we need to do, the dreaded water test. I just stopped the fill, check out the tank. It's seriously bowing. You can see the water pushing on the acrylic. We can't risk this. The last thing we want is for this to explode. I'm going to build this acrylic rim to help hold it all together. Hopefully this does the trick. Building these tanks wouldn't be possible without your support and amazing ideas. I read every single comment and your support makes all of this hard work worth it. By having a mix of terrestrial and aquatic plants, we're able to create a lush jungle. I can't wait to see what our fish think of this. Luckily, I have this huge sponge filter from one of my cycle tanks in the studio. They should do the trick. The only downside of a tank this size is the maintenance. We're going to add these shrimp. These little guys will help keep our tank sparkling clean. Today's the day. Mia's arriving this afternoon and we still have a few more things to do. Adam put together this awesome rain shower. Now, whenever someone puts a quarter in, it rains. We're gonna make our money back in no time. And most importantly, our special fish. These little guys are going to look so cool in here. I can't wait to see them glow in the dark when we turn these lights on for the big reveal. Mia just got here. I can't wait for her to see this. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness, it looks so insane. We just made a claw machine fish tank. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you here next week.